So what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Movement6 and today we're going to talk about the success of Modern Warfare 2. What 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 does it take for Infinity Ward Activision and since we've now known also Sledgehammer next year to bring that success and to capitalize further on that freaking 1 billion in revenue they already made on this game because they do need to focus on a lot of things and they do need to be cautious from my perspective but before we start huge thank you for everybody who's up this week it's a privilege to have you guys in the channel you seem to enjoy the content i'm currently making so i'm very happy with that uh thanks for all the subs the interactions if you're new here consider subscribing uh, help a brother out <laughs> it's uh just put on notifications and you will not miss a thing now modern warfare 2 um it's it's the first time in years uh, that I'm actually feeling a a game that has tremendous potential. I, I, I like the gunfights, I like the mechanics, the gameplay, and the design choices they made there with slowing down the game a bit, right? It's not always run and gun still, arcade shooter, still 6v6 is at the core, um, fast pace, yes, but... They made some choices that slowed down the gameplay a bit. I like the mechanics, the feel of the gameplay, the sound design. So I do believe that the core of the game is in a state where I was hoping that Call of Duty would eventually be. So that's good news. Um, I also feel that old Call of Duty vibe somewhere in the distance bubbling away. But there are also problems, no doubt. Glitches, bugs, everybody's talking about it. We've got a... <laughs> a mess of a user interface, if you will. Uh, don't know what design choices, what they were after, but the simplicity of the, the simplistic style of menus uh, were always fine. You know, if it's if it ain't broken, don't don't try to fix it. I would say they went for the more tile. It it seems like it should be running on an iPad or something. I don't know. It's not really working for me. It's neatly complex. The gun seat, gun smith is complex perk system with the timing release, timed release perk system, it's not really working. And I think there's a lot to change, right? And I think one of the biggest issues is, for all of us, skill-based matchmaking. But now we're also entering a very interesting part of this video because if you just take a moment and step back, that the focal community about Call of Duty is also the most it's also the community that gives the most critique, right? I'm, I'm part of it because I like this franchise to succeed. But um, <laughs> skill-based matchmaking has already always been a target for a very dense group of people. I would say the more hardcore Call of Duty gamers, you know, they will never abandon Call of Duty that quickly. They will always keep making that content, whether it's negative or positive. But there is a reason why skill-based matchmaking is in there to protect the casual and the weak player base. And if we're just looking at the numbers, first three days, 800 million in revenue, first 10 days, 1 billion in revenue for Modern Warfare 2, there is no sign of decline at the Call of Duty side. Zero. Everybody who says that Call of Duty is in trouble, worst news ever, blah, 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 it's not. It's, it's not. They're objectively speaking, the game is in a state where it shouldn't be released in. Full stop. I'm fully on board with that. But the game is made more and more for average Joe on one side. That's the guy who just comes back from, from work. It's big ass TV, no headphones on. Sometimes when he's playing with Maze, just want to go in and out a couple of games and doesn't care about stats, leaderboard, barrack scores. Doesn't care about it. Just want to have some fun. Just unlocks one gun. That's the gun he needs. And boom. On the other side, you get weak Timmy. Can't stand life, can't cope with life, can't cope with competition, uh, can't cope being in a lobby with those 360 no scope god tier guys. You know, they need to be protected with skill based matchmaking. But there is a reason for Activision to do that and for Infinity War to do that because this game is tailored for the casual player. Look at the numbers. 800 million, 1 billion. They don't come from a vocal, hardcore community. And I consider myself being part of the hardcore, vocal community of Call of Duty. Every year, I say to myself, I'm not going to buy it. At the end, I'm buying. <laughs> Which is fine, you know. It's, it's just, I've been playing Call of Duty since the start. So I've seen it going into a direction me, as a hardcore player, don't like to be seeing it going into. But hey, 
the world's changed. Money talks. So one billion in revenue. But there is a there is a downside for uh, Activision Infinity Ward. The casual gamer has a very low discipline, but also a low commitment towards the game. If if there's something happening on the left, he will go left immediately. Full stop. And if you're looking at the releases coming up tomorrow, we've got when hell you watching this movie of this clip. We've got Call of God of War, Ragnarok. Callisto Protocol, Dead Space, Evil West. The list is so long of all those fantastic releases. Fors- Forspoken? Is it Forspoken? There are so many beautiful, strong games coming up that if you do not bring what it needs to, br- what we need, then eventually people will get bored. And to be fair, <sighs> there are things in this game that draws me back in constantly, but it's easy to get bored right now. Because Spec Ops is not something people are going back for constantly. You have fun things to unlock a character, quickly move people move on. The campaign is just one time, people move on. We don't like that rail shit. It was fun, it was good, looked good, we move on. Ground War is not the target. In Black Ops Cold War I still have those achievements open that I can't unlock because everybody abandoned those large scale maps. Call of Duty, by nature, is a 6v6 Fast-paced, running gun, arcade type of shooter. Full stop. Yes, we got Warzone, totally different league. But the core of the multiplayer is 6v6. Small condensed maps, sometimes a media size, but that's it. Ground War is nice to unlock some shit, do some fun things. It's nice, but it's not the core. People want fast-paced things in Call of Duty. So what they need to bring is content. Nothing but content. I am looking forward to Season 1. But if they don't watch out, then people eventually will abandon this game. So then the question is, what kind of content do we need? So I already said it a few times. You know, we're easily bored. Casual gamers easily move away, find their happiness, luck, or gaming adventures somewhere else. So content and and, and the the quality of the content is, is what we need. Now, as said, Call of Duty, 6v6, multiplayer, and Warzone. So Warzone is, I'm setting that aside, right? So we're focusing on the multiplayer because that still is the core of Call of Duty. It's still where people go to to have some relaxing few hours. It's still bread and butter for Call of Duty as a franchise. So the first thing that comes to mind, of course, is maps. We're, We're releasing a game which is 10 maps from which... A few of them are in deplorable state, a few of them are me- mediocre, and a few of them are exceptionally good. So the the bandwidth of exceptionally good content is very small right now. So we need more of the good quality content. Call of Duty is known in the last few years for recycling and remaking get maps. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong. But I should take some of the maps out there that are really good and, and or just good and take them as a blueprint to pour out new ones. Three lane, six v sips, small condensed maps. I wouldn't make it too difficult, if you will, because it proves that the most small maps are the most popular maps because they give um, n- not much room for maneuver, not much room for camping. They just push a bit more speed in arcade type of gameplay in what Call of Duty should be. So 6v6 small condensed three lane maps is what we're after, you know. They, they can be some a bit more um, uh, in medium sized maps are okay-ish if you will. And I think that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War also had some good strong new additions to the map roster. So you know there are s- tons of examples to look at to repeat a successful blueprint in multiplayer because eventually the biggest bulk of the casual people if they play warzone it's just for a couple of hours but they immediately will go back to the multiplayer and yes the hardcore gamers will use multiplayer to level guns for warzone so we need more content in that space we don't need a lot of content for spec ops right we don't need that. It's it's fun. I've played it. I will never return. Multi, uh, the single player, exactly the same. 
focus on the multiplayer. Not even on Ground War. Few maps would be fun as an addition, but I don't think that eventually those big, large-scale battlefield-type maps will eventually survive against the Champions League environment of a war zone. I don't. I don't see the existence of a ground war large scale battlefield type map when you have warzone and you've got multiplayer so it's for me it's a bit mediocre what's what's happening in the ground war space it's it's fun but it's not going to last for a very long time so 6v6 arcade dance type of maps that's what we're after of course so if you and this is just spinning something around for the future of call of duty and if if somebody would ask me what would you do to change the franchise i would i would take the battle royale and warzone and put that in the middle as the core of the call of duty franchise because eventually things need to change i would set multiplayer single player spec ops and zombies as a franchise on the side and every year or every season or every that's the open for debate and discussion i would say bring paid and unpaid content to that environment right so you can keep the the battle royale fresh updated you can keep the multiplayer fresh and updated you can overhaul the single player add new chapters add new storylines in there if people want to pay for it and play it zombies i'm a zombie fan you know and so if 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 they would keep zombie as an ongoing changing evolving new chapters type of it's yeah, it's a life service type of environment. But if you execute that well, I think you have a strong franchise that will change and innovate and eventually deliver a new business model. Because eventually what we're gonna see next year is that you're gonna pay seventy dollars for expansions. But that's a different story. For now it's content. It's just content. The bugs, the glitches, the the, the changing in the menu screens, that will all change. Skill based matchmaking is here to stay, it's not going anywhere. So content is going to be at the core of what we're going to need what we're going to need for the foreseeable future looking forward what what do you define as content what maps do you want to see being remade and changed and add to the roster what is it that you actually want to see as additional content to call of duty Modern warfare 2 for now, this was it. I think this uh, this were my two cents on uh, what we need to be successful with Modern Warfare 2. If you've got anything to say, drop it in the comments. See you in the battlefield. Bye-bye.